but first. So are you saying that the police um, are lying about I, this? You heard my statement. They're not true. That's all I'm saying. KCTV5 stands for you, and we confront a Missouri woman about accusations that she kept an autistic child locked in a filthy cage. We first told you about the disturbing story last night. Two women in Maysville, Missouri, are now charged with child abuse, accused of keeping that nine-year-old locked up and in deplorable conditions. We sent KCTV5's Abby Dodge to Maysville to find out more. Police say this home is littered with trash and the floors are covered with urine and feces. The Department of Social Services came out here because it got a tip that a nine year old with autism was left locked inside for hours at a time. One of the deputies that responded there described to me that it was one of the most disgusting residences he's ever been into. From the outside, it doesn't look run down, but deputies say there shouldn't be anyone living inside. From what I saw, uh, it was just a very dirty and unsanitary and unsafe environment for, for anybody, a, a human being to live in. Deborah and Katrina England are charged with child abuse and endangerment. Police say inside this home, there's a bunk bed boarded up and used as a cage for the couple's daughter. Deborah and Katrina are both out on bond, so we knocked on their door. When no one answered the door, we continued to get video of the house. That's when Deborah approached us. Well, I'm not talking to you guys. You guys need to leave. Deborah continued to stand in front of our camera, blocking her house. I think you guys need to mind your own business. We asked her about the charges she's facing. I so understand that, and they're not I true. That's all I'm saying. So are you saying that the police... Um, are lying about I, you heard my statement they're not true that's all i'm saying so we continue to ask her about the statement she gave police it says in the probable cause statement that you admitted to locking your daughter inside of that the bedroom. is not true we asked police why it took so long for someone to notice this is one that i've scratched my head on i don't know how anybody could live that way or treat another individual that way especially a child um i, I don't know I just have no good answer why it, it would take that long. Um, I have no idea. The house is close to a school. The buses are even stored right next door. We tried to confirm which school the nine year old may have gone to, but with all this weather out here today, a lot of the schools in this area were closed, so our calls were not returned. In Maysville, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News.